Boy, I hope this uh, grass here dries out for the Grass Slayer 9000 to uh, do its thing, but it's pretty wet. So, while I'm letting, you know, Mother Nature do its, uh, its thing and drying it out, got the oil change on Old Blue here. Got the Hyper Freight mat here, that way I don't, you know, damage the logo here, you know. Very important we protect that. Got the Ford approved thinking cap because, you know, you always gotta have the Ford approved thinking cap on. Otherwise, you know, you won't think uh, Ford. And uh, if you don't think Ford, you'll be wondering uh, how come it ain't working. You know, General Motors, those guys, they, they can't wear any hat because, let's face it, it don't work. And Dodge, well, Dodge, they put on a Sherlock Holmes uh, hat because theirs is a uh, Dodge and a Ford disguise. So, you know, they flip it around. So, we got here the Micro Guard. Uh, it shows what's inside, supposedly, anyway. I mean... All these do a little filtering. And then we got the Super Tech. High mileage. Full synthetic. So it'll uh, you know, clean on it and rejuvenate. And also got Lucas Oil Stabilizer. Now listen. You don't want to use a lot of this stuff. Just want to use just enough, you know, that way it gets into all the crevices and everything. That uh, that way, you know, it helps out the motor, especially with an old motor like this. <laughs> Might need a little help. <laughs> so, first thing we're gonna do. So we're going to drain it out. So for that, we'll need the ratchet here. And we'll drain it. Alright. Here we go. Oh yeah, that right there. This is black as morning coffee. Still a little warm too. So we'll just let that do its thing. Take the filter. We'll take the filter off. This right here is your your wrench. Pick one up in a part store. There we go. That's what always happens. Now, get the other one. Break the seal.
Now what I always do, I fill it up a little bit. That way it ain't gonna be dry when uh, you turn her on. And then I put oil on the gasket here. That way it bonds better. At least that's in theory anyway. Look at that nice logo. That's nice. Let's get her out of here. All right, that's on there. Now, that oil should be drained. So let's go put the drain plug back in it. You always want to inspect your plug Make sure the threads aren't mugged up. Make sure the seal looks good. Shit does. Let's just put it right in there. There you go, that's about 200 foot pounds of torque right there. So good to go. Now, let's take the oil out and we'll see how bad it is. That don't look bad. There's no signs of engine breakdown or nothing. That's pretty, pretty good. It's just or out old and used. That's it. That's good. Okay, now take the cap off. You got these clickers in here. It's a really bad idea, actually. But, anyways, I've had to replace this before. They strip out because people, when they twist them, they twist them a little too much and before you know it when you go back to use it well the thing ain't locking anymore it's just spinning so you know might need to get one of these eventually but for now it's off i know it'll go back on so okay See if I can do this without spilling it. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick that my dad taught me. Whatever you got a little left over, you just put on your locks. Because in the states where, you know, it's winter and crappy weather, well, these right here, your locks, are the first things to uh, rust off. So, you know, you're driving down the road doing 65 and all of a sudden your hood goes whoosh. 
and you wonder why your lock is with your hood well most of the time it rusted off so keep it lubed up you never have to worry about it plus when you go to use it look at that I mean that's pretty much uh, loose as it can get you, you're never going to have it stuck one day or uh, you know dead of winter freezing on you or nothing like that that thing's lubed up so let's put the cap on there we go wipe her down a little bit the uh, little oil you know had to go around a little bit a little oil all right let's fire up see what happens No leaks. Sounds good. <laughs> Ask for anything better at a 300 straight six. So that's it, guys. If you guys like this content, please give a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you would, please. Later.